Before we talk directly about Eugenia Cooney, I first want to highlight how big of a problem eating disorders are. Over 70 million people live with eating disorders globally and one person dies every hour. Let me just say that again, one person dies every hour. Now I'm sure Eugenia needs no introduction to most of you, but she currently has over 2 million YouTube subscribers and over the last five years her appearance has sparked a wildfire of controversy with many calling for Eugenia to be removed from social media platforms. Right now there is a petition to have Eugenia removed from her social platforms, at least temporarily. If you don't know, the goal of this petition is just to remove temporarily from social media until she gets help, or at the very least to age restrict her content to protect her young audience from being exposed to the dangers of thinspo and pro-Anna content. Eugenia flies under the radar because she's positive and doesn't spread hate and she never actually discusses the topic of her eating disorder, therefore YouTube has no reason to demonetize her, even though they really should. It really, really should. Even I, as a 25-year-old woman, finds her content triggering. Now, I'm not interested in the controversy surrounding Eugenia. I'm simply interested as a nutritionist in highlighting how serious and common eating disorders are, and also highlighting the current dangers for Eugenia's body, because I think things are getting perilous again. Finally, just a quick trigger warning here. I'm talking about disordered eating patterns and showing some graphic images. Please switch off this video if you are dealing with an eating disorder, and if you suspect you may be suffering with disordered eating patterns, then please seek the correct medical attention. Now, it wasn't until 2019 and in an interview with Shane Dawson that Eugenia acknowledged publicly that she was suffering with an eating disorder and that she had sought out treatment. Okay, well, yeah. getting help. Right. So, what was it like? Because we've kind of tiptoed uh -huh. around it, but like, right. <laughs> you went somewhere. So I did, we'll yes. So uh, yeah, I was in um, a like rehab kind of program for it, and it was a really kind of weird experience, I guess. So some of the main types of eating disorders are anorexia, avoidant restrictive food intake disorder, binge eating disorder, bulimia, and other specified feeding and eating disorder. Eating disorders are physical and mental illnesses that directly shape a person's relationship with food and or their body image. People like Eugenia that suffer with an eating disorder can often have excessive thoughts surrounding food, as well as excessive thoughts around their body weight or shape, and even how to control their food intake. Now only Eugenia and her medical teams know what forms of eating disorders that she is suffering with. It may be one, it may be multiple. And this is all irrelevant here. What we do know is that regardless of what Eugenia is suffering with, it will not only be affecting and harming her body, it will also be affecting and potentially harming her mind. The impacts on her body are likely to range from minor issues such as dry skin, brittle hair and nails, all the way through to some potentially serious problems that we will cover off now. So when we are talking about Eugenia's body, one of the first areas that we absolutely need to talk about is malnutrition and also dehydration. And obviously restricted eating patterns have the potential to cause severe deficiencies. Malnutrition is essentially where your body isn't getting an adequate supply of proteins and nutrients. Dehydration is the process where your body isn't getting adequate fluids to work correctly. Malnutrition is likely to significantly lower a person's immune function and lead to numerous different body problems such as anemia. And if Eugenia's eating patterns are leading her down a chronic dehydration route, then this can cause everything from fatigue, muscle cramps, Cramping, constipation, seizures, and potentially even kidney failure. Having covered off malnutrition and dehydration, then this has the potential to cause heart problems. Eating disorders can have dire consequences for the heart muscle, with anorexia being one of the most detrimental. So when someone is battling an eating disorder and their body is not getting sufficient calories, the body can and will start breaking down its own tissues and muscles for fuel. The most important muscle in the body to sustain life is the heart muscle, and when the heart doesn't get sufficient fuel from dietary sources and it starts to be broken down, then that person, in this case Eugenia, has a significantly increased risk of heart failure. Beyond this, Eugenia may also be at a significantly increased risk of serious heart arrhythmias as she may not be getting essential minerals and electrolytes in her diet, all of which are critical for normal heart function. Next up, when assessing Eugenia's potential problems, we come to the stomach. 
If Eugenia is chronically restricting her food, which is fairly evident, then this has the real potential to trigger gastroparesis. This is a long-term condition where the stomach potentially won't empty in a normal way. If this is something that Eugenia is currently struggling with, then she may be experiencing symptoms such as pain and bloating, vomiting and nausea, spikes in her blood sugar levels, and she will also be at an increased risk from serious bacterial infections where her food and bacteria are stagnant in her gut. Now, if Eugenia is suffering with gastroparesis types of issues, then it is also likely to impact on her teeth and esophagus. Now, the esophagus is a muscular tube that connects the mouth and also the stomach. If Eugenia is having stagnant food in the stomach due to gastroparesis issues, then this can cause acid to travel up into the esophagus and cause damage here, and again, also potentially damage her teeth. Now, again, we don't know the specifics of all the eating disorders that Eugenia is potentially suffering with, but if it is anorexia combined with some something like purging or bulimia, then this excessive vomiting will also cause significant damage to her esophagus and teeth due to the corrosive nature of the stomach acid. Now again, I'm not saying that Eugenia is purging or even suffering with bulimia, but for people who are dealing with these illnesses, then the net negative effect could be a ruptured esophagus, which is a very serious medical problem. As a result of potential gut and stomach issues, dehydration and malnutrition, then feasibly Eugenia may also be suffering from hormonal imbalances and other issues. So when we as humans eat fat, these fats and fatty acids are utilized by the body to produce hormones. So let me just repeat that, fats are the backbone of hormone production in the body. Now I can only speculate that Eugenia may not be getting sufficient fats in her diet. And if this is the case, then her levels of sex hormones such as estrogen can fall to very low levels. But these problems don't just stop with sex hormones. Eugenia's thyroid function could also be significantly impeded, and this could result in many, many issues such as loss of period, as well as significant bone loss in her body. Before we move on to Eugenia's mental health state, the last area that I want to quickly touch upon is how her eating disorder is likely to affect her brain function. Now, many of you watching this video may know that the brain is calorie intensive. But maybe you didn't know that despite having a weight of around just three pounds, the brain will utilize approximately 20% of all the calories that you put in the body. As a consequence, if Eugenia's brain is not getting fed an adequate supply of nutrients, then it is likely she will also be suffering from brain fog and also mental clarity and cognition issues. And all of this leads us to the psychological effects that Eugenia's eating patterns may be having on her. Obviously, at their roots, eating disorders are serious mental health problems. Like I alluded to earlier on, eating disorders are characterized by the physical and mental illnesses that directly shape a person's relationship with their food and or their body image. So for many people dealing with eating disorders, then they may also be suffering with low self-esteem, anxiety, depression, suicidal thoughts, as well as distorted thinking patterns. The person may also be engaging in things like self-harming. Like a heroin user or drug addict, Eugenia's disordered eating patterns are not just a phase or social media trend, they are medical illnesses that are very frequently life-threatening. Now, I made this video about Eugenia, not for clicks or views. I am genuinely concerned that after a period of time that she seemed to be stable and improving, her weight and mental state appear to be deteriorating again. And I want anyone who is watching this to understand the severity of the situation. I also believe that Eugenia needs to take much more responsibility over the content that she is making, although this may be difficult given her mental state. Her latest video is titled Transforming Myself Into a Mermaid. Now clearly with a title like that, many impressionable younger viewers are likely to watch the video and be exposed to her content. If some of these viewers are potentially susceptible to disordered eating patterns, then both YouTube and Eugenia have an absolute duty of care to these people here. When it comes to illnesses such as anorexia, half of all of these deaths are due to suicide and the other half of all deaths are due to physical complications. So if you know Eugenia personally, then please engage in support and encourage further treatment. Or if you are someone who is battling an eating disorder, then like I said at the start of the video, please engage with a suitably qualified medical team. If you enjoyed this video, then check this video out up here because I'm sure you will find this equally interesting. And beyond this, the only other thing that's left for me to say is to remember to look after your body because it's the only place you have to live. And I'll see you next time.